Hi everyone, this is Vegas and I'm going to do a video on JCPenney. What is all the drama about? We heard the scoop about this chapter 11 bankruptcy and so many panic traders. So let's talk about what's going on with JCPenney. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to do a quick little history on JCPenney. Uh, you guys know that I love researching all these companies when I talk about them. So we know JCPenney's been around. they got over 850 locations. They're both across the U.S. and Puerto Rico. They have thousands of employees. You know, they used to be in a lot of suburban shopping malls. They also have, um, you know, Sephora in their store. They also have Seattle's Best Coffee optical centers and portrait studios inside their store you know uh, jc penny used to have um you know years ago they would also be located in the power centers then they had to get competitive and become more online they had to streamline their catalog and they also had to do a lot of renovation improvements at the store level to keep up with the competition if you recall back on march 18 uh, they did announce that all the retail stores would close because of the coronavirus pandemic until April 2nd. And, you know, at the time that they made that announcement, I don't think anyone really knew how serious the coronavirus was. So then they announced that there would be an extension of the planned April 2nd reopening and that they were not able to give a new date. They did mention that they would have a limited number of stores open specifically for in-store and curbside pickup. And then, of course, on Friday, they announced that they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So let's actually talk some more about what's going on with JCPenney. So first of all, you could see here that they do have a partnership with Sephora. And on May 7th, they agreed to work constructively to resolve their legal matters. And they've agreed to a mutually beneficial revision of their joint enterprise operating agreement. So that's good news that they finally got that resolved. They've been working together, just so you guys know, for 14 years. So we wouldn't want that relationship to not continue. So let's continue with the other news. So whenever you're going to do some due diligence on a stock, always go to the um, news and events, and there's always going to be either the press releases, investor relations calendar, or any kind of documentation is always going to be under news and events. Sometimes it's under company info or under the financials, but certainly always go to news and events first. So if we go here to news and events, we could see the press release on Friday that JCPenney did have a release regarding a reduction debt plan because they want to do what? Strengthen the financial position through what's called an RSA, which is a restructuring support agreement. So you could see here that what they're going to be doing, first of all, they did file a voluntary Chapter 11 petition to implement the financial restructuring plan. So what's, regard what's happened here with this plan on the RSA is that it's going to help reduce several billion dollars of the indebtedness and also increase their financial flexibility to help them get through the coronavirus. As you can appreciate, they have to still pay their staff, they have to pay suppliers, they have to pay expenses, and so obviously they needed to get this done. Um, during this process, you could see here that JCPenney is going to continue to try to have their expansive footprint across the U.S. and Puerto Rico and through their e-com site. They look forward to welcoming customers back to the select stores, and they're going to continue to offer the contact-free curbside pickup. And the other thing that I mentioned here, here as well is that Jill Salto, who's the CEO, she was mentioning here that this is a financial restructuring plan through a court supervised process, which is the best path to ensure JCPenney will build on its over 100 year history to service the customers for decades to come. And they believe that with doing this, 
they are going to turn the company around. One of the things mentioned in this actual press release, which is good to note, is that JCPenney has mentioned they have approximately $500 million in cash on hand as part of the Chapter 11 filing date. They also did mention that they have commitments for $900 million in debtor in possession, which is called the DIP, from their existing first lien holders, which includes $450 million of new money. So don't forget, they have to go through the court approval so that the financing combined with the cash flow generated by the company's operation can be sufficient to meet their operational and restructuring needs. The other thing too is JCPenney lists the keywords here. They will explore additional opportunities to maximize value including a third party sale process. So what does that mean? Could they be looking for someone to buy them out? Could they be doing a partnership? We don't know, but nothing is going to be off the table. So on Saturday, you could see JCPenney did finally receive the court approval for what they call the first day motion to support business operations. You could see here that they finally got the approval uh, following the filing of the Chapter 11 petition that was filed on Friday, including the approval for the company to access and use approximately $500, $500 million, sorry, excuse me, in cash collateral. So the other thing too, the court has authorized that they are able, to, like I mentioned earlier, to continue paying their non furloughed associate wages, providing benefits to associates, pay vendor partners in the ordinary course for all the goods and services uh, provided on or after the Chapter 11 filing. So, you know, Jill, who's the CEO, she's mentioned that they're very pleased to have received the approval for these motions because it can help them to continue implementing their plan for renewal and operation of the business to serve clientele. And by entering into these agreements uh, with their lenders, they hopefully also expect to reduce several billion dollars of indebtedness, providing increased financial flexibility and can hopefully help them navigate through this crisis and better position them for the long term. So this is interesting. And then the other thing too, again, is about the cash on hand as well. Now, if you want to do some due diligence, you can definitely visit the website here called jcprestructuring.com. So I just want to go through the stock and the price. I mean, obviously we could see on Friday it opened at 19 cents. High of day was 31, low of 17, closed at 24. Look at this crazy volume, 278 million shares plus. That is insane. I've never seen this many shares. Is this a whole bunch of panic sellers selling the stock from, you know, maybe they had the stock at a uh, much higher price. I mean, if you go further back, you could see the stock was over a dollar twenty five, twenty six. And that wasn't that long ago. We're talking, you know, November-ish. Um, but, you know, the stock's never really been able to break that um, that 52-week high. So, you know, there could be people that are actually holders of the shares, even for a higher price. I don't know. Um, however, um, JCPenney has had a very hard time. As a result, the stock's pulled back. However, could this be an opportunity? Because, again, uh, they are going through a restructuring plan. So full disclosure, I have shares of JCPenney that I bought on Thursday and I bought it on the anticipation that it would be going for the bankruptcy because in the past, when I've ever traded bankruptcy stocks, uh, for some crazy reason, the stocks actually break out and they go, I've seen it go sometimes two, three, four, five hundred percent. So I did pick up shares at 17 cents. And uh, obviously we could see the stock closed around 24. So I wonder what's gonna happen this week because you could see here that there is a bit of a pocket pivot. It did have a major volume surge, okay, right here. And we did cross above the 20 day moving average. If we do break this 24, 25 cent, we do have a pivot of 28. We also have resistance at 35, another resistance at 44. And my gosh, we could go to 60 and maybe 76. I mean, if this even happened, um, that would be great for people that have the stock at a much higher price, that if they wanted to take a loss, they could take a smaller loss than taking it at these price levels today. Now, whoever bought here at the 17 cents, like myself, I mean, that would be a great uh, risk reward as well. But, you know, when you buy these penny stocks with have these kinds of challenges right now, 
um, it is very risky as well. So, you know, people that are, let's say, thinking to buy at these levels here, um, they got to understand, you know, any trade is a risk too, right? But when you're in these financial stress, like, like JCPenney, um, a lot of people are just totally staying away from this and saying, I am not touching this stock. So everyone has different reasons why they may trade it or not. I personally trading it because I've had success with bankruptcy stocks before. And I remember with Sears, it went super, it went parabolic. And so you never know. We'll see what the market's going to, how they're going to react to this tomorrow. You can definitely go to JCPenney Investors to read more about it. You can also go to jcprestructuring.com. And as you can see here, they are mentioning here all their different press releases. I think if you're going to be looking at the stock or trading the stock, you should bookmark this page. Uh, they're going to be, you know, they're going to have the um, infographic restructuring PDF. So let me just take a quick look here. So here's, um, and I really like infographics actually, because, you know, sometimes these infographics give you the visual and I like it better than the actual uh, jargon here to read. So you could see here that they're focused. They want to return to a sustainable, profitable growth by reestablishing the fundamentals of the retail and merchandising offerings and rolling out new innovations. And they talk about here the health and safety of employees, and they continue to make changes to also improve the shopping experience. So this is really interesting. You can definitely keep a watch. I'm sure they'll be updating this page on a regular basis. And remember, this company has been here for over a hundred years. I mean, they've been around like 118 years. This would seriously be another horrible story to see that something like JCPenney would be wiped off the map. I mean, this would be absolutely heartbreaking because I've known JCPenney my whole life. So to see it go away um, would be actually very sad. I would actually hope that maybe if they're looking to do some sort of third party, um, you know, maybe some sort of third party partnership or something like that, I would think one of the good companies that they could consider partnering with would be Amazon because JCPenney has so many locations, so many loading docks. I mean, I think it would be great for Amazon. But again, that's just like, you know, I'm just thinking out loud. Um, I mean, this company's in dire, dire straits right now. So um, anything's possible, right? Either in either direction. So keep that in mind if you are going to consider trading the stock and make sure that you do your own due diligence because at this point it is obviously risky but there's also maybe risk reward because i really do feel that they're trying to do a very good restructuring plan and hopefully there's a chance that the stock can live and the company can survive these challenges and hopefully turn around so this concludes the review of the jc penny what is the drama all about i hope it helps give you um, a little bit more of a perspective on what is going on with the stock. We will actually see how the market will really react tomorrow because at the end of the day, that is really what counts. At the end of the day, like I said, that's what counts. Nobody cares. You could say anything you want. Everyone has an opinion, but at the end of the day, what does the market think? Are they happy with the restructuring news? Are they happy with the fact that the court allowed the um, restructuring to go through and allowed the authorization of the money and allowed that the vendors get paid and are they happy with what's with the transition plan to maybe look to turn this company around so let's see how the market responds because at the end of the day you only trade what you see in front of you which is the chart action and the action on the tape and that's really bottom line what counts and what matters i hope everyone has a really great trading day tomorrow and please like, follow, subscribe, comment below. I'm sure I'll get a lot of people bashing potentially the, the penny play, which is fine because that's what happens sometimes with penny stocks. Not everyone's a fan and that's okay. Um, then don't trade it, you know? So everyone have a great day. Have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.